So this is the home screen of the system and you can choose from either manual which is just foot rocker or you can choose automatic which allows you to choose any one of these different cycling parameters. So for the first one we'll do continuous cycling so we select that and the first thing it asks you to do is to set the upper limit. So we turn the pump on and we raise the ram or lower the ram, set that limit then we can lower the ram, set that limit and then select any one of these depth increments and that's the change in the lower limit position that you can affect at any point. So for example we'll select 1 8 it tells you the dies are going to start to move and you press start. And this is your depth increment so right now we're using 1 8 change and we've done zero changes to that depth increment but as you push a button on the foot pedal, you can effectively lower that by 1 8 inch and you can do multiples of those increments. So you can hear that stroke getting longer because you're stroking a longer position. And then you can actually shorten it up if you want to. And it shortens up the stroke. You can pause this system and if you want you can move manually and then immediately resume back into cycling where you left off. So that's the basics. So now what we're going to do is set up automatic cycling for this particular workpiece. So right now we're going to set up the upper limit wherever you want it to be. We set that position and then we can slow the ram speed way down to really get an accurate lower position. So we can get right about so there, we set that as our limit, and we'll say, we'll do a 1 8 increment, and now we can shut the pump off and heat our workpiece. So now we can start the automatic cycling. Make this sure the system's at full speed. And what we can do is actually pause it with the foot rocker and then shut off the pump. So that way when we get back to the press with our workpiece we can just hit resume and we're going.